And right now, President Trump wrapping up a roller coaster week in Columbus. The president in Ohio for the second time this month to help the state GOP raise money. News 5's John Kasich joins us now, and John Governor Kasich will be notably absent. Yeah, Danita Kasich isn't one, as we know, to give in, to fake it. But given the animosity between these two, Kasich is opting to spend time with one of his daughters before she heads off to school. President and Mrs. Trump arriving in Columbus around 3.30 this afternoon, greeted on the tarmac by former Cleveland Police Union head Steve Loomis and Senator Rob Portman and his wife, who rode with the Trumps to a Columbus Children's Hospital. The Ohio GOP fundraiser will get underway tonight at around 6. The visit comes days after the Paul Manafort conviction and Michael Cohen plea deal that implicates the president and campaign's campaign finance violations. Now, I spoke with Republican U.S. Senate candidate Jim Renacci before he left to be with the president and asked him, is the president an unindicted co-conspirator in this? No, absolutely not. And look, uh, the, the, the whole theory behind this and why is the reason special counsel Mueller was hired was to see if there was collusion between Russia and the campaigns. And clearly, after two years, there's no collusion. These are issues that illegal. They should, you know, Manafort did some things illegal. But none of this is collusion. and None of this is Russian collusion, which is really the, the, the big issue that I have. Oh, Renacci told me he also believes the vote on the nomination of Judge Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court should take place immediately, even though the Supreme Court would be the ones to decide the question if it arises of whether a sitting president can be indicted. John Kasich, News 5.